glory. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. 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 The year of 2020. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. New year. New you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I get somebody to make some noise up here on this morning? Hallelujah. How many are you excited for Jesus this morning? Hallelujah. He's worthy. I say he's worthy. I need somebody to make some noise. Let me hear somebody to make some noise over here. Let me hear you. I want to hear you over here. Let's give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What about over here? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let's everybody together give God praise. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of God. Yes, God. Have the way, Lord. Glory, glory. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy this morning. Another year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He didn't have to wake me, but he did. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy to be praised in this place, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Lord, for dwelling in the believers on this morning, God. For you are worthy, God. You are worthy, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. We can't thank you enough, God. But we love you on this morning, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Glory to your name, God. Because you are worthy, God. God, thank you for sparing my life. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are worthy, God. Hallelujah, Lord. You're better than head not doing. I don't know why I did it. But God, we give you glory. We give you honor, God. We thank you, God, for the things that's unknown, God. We thank you, God, for everybody in this building on this morning, God. God, we give you glory in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. God, we know you're looking for a temple to dwell in, God. God, I pray that we make ourselves available, Lord. Like never before, God. In this place, God. God, it don't matter what people are saying or, or how they looking, God. It's all about you right now, God. See, God, we got to get beyond ourselves, God. We got to get beyond of what we're looking at, God. Because God is greater in you, God. It's greater, God. God, help us to see it, Lord, like never before, God. How many of y'all feel like giving God the praise? How many of you feel like lifting up the name of Jesus? I need somebody to make some noise up in here. If you know God been good to you, if you know if it had not been for the Lord on your side, when you was out there in the mess that you was in, if it had not been for him, some of us will be dead and gone. We owe him a praise this morning. We owe him a praise. We owe him a praise. Hallelujah. We expect the God to move up in this place. I expect the word like never before in this place. I'm expecting fresh manner to fall down in this place like never before. If I can just get somebody to touch and agree by the way of the Spirit with me. I need to hear somebody praising God this morning. Because it ain't about you no more. It's all about Him. Hallelujah. Don't worry about what your neighbor going to say. Don't worry about who looking at you. I don't care if you tell your hair. We're going to give God praise up in here. Hallelujah. Where are my praises at this year? Oh, he's been good. He's been good to us, y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, glory. Glory, we lifted them up up in this place. Yes, God. Yes, God. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, God. Move in this place, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, glory. God been good, saints. God been good. How many of y'all excited about 2020? How many of y'all excited about 2020? How many of you still got lights in your house? 
How many still got running water? Food in the refrigerator. Clothes in the closet. How many of you got gas in your car this morning? How many of you even got a call this morning? See, because if you look back from what God brought you from to where you at right now, it won't be hard for somebody to pump you up or for you to give God praise. See, because if you didn't have nothing and you ain't come from nothing and you look at where you are right now, where you are tearing this place up up in here. Because I remember when I was on welfare. I remember when my mama had to get the cheese. I remember the Lord in the can and the meat in the can. I remember that. But right now I can call grub her and eat whatever. Whatever I desire. That's because God been good to me. He's been good to me. It ain't nothing I did. It's because God been good to me. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, glory. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to lift them up up in here. Ah, oh, this is a new year. I pray it's a new you. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, Sister Brooke. Come on. Let's, come on. Let's pray for us right here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's been good. He's been good. He's been good. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us go to the throne. Hallelujah. God, we just bless your name. We bless your name. It's a new year, but you are still the same God. Still the same matchless God. Still the same omnipotent God. Still the same magnificent God. Still the same mighty God. And we bless your holy name, Father God. We thank you, Father God. For the God that you are, Father God, we serve you and only you, God, in the name of Jesus. God, have your way in this place. You do whatever you want to do, Father God. Free, free reign. You reign, God. We bless your name, Father God. Father God, just touch, Father God, everybody in this place in the name of Jesus. From the pulpit to the parking lot, God. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke anything that's not of you and not pleasing in your eyesight. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Snuff it out in the name of Jesus. God, we replace it with you and you totally. In the name of Jesus, we speak a free praise in this place. To you, we speak a free worship in this place. To you, God, it is all about you, God. We can't say thank you enough. We can't bless your name enough. We can't praise you enough. God, we glorify you, Father God. And as we close this prayer, we seal it with a praise, God. And we say hallelujah. 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 Oh, yeah. I believe somebody want to give God some praise up in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's time for us to start moving this year. It's time for us to start getting excited for Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me see somebody with a pep in their step. They don't mind being excited for Jesus. Because it's all about our Lord and Savior. Because we couldn't have did this thing. Yeah. Are you excited? I said, are you excited? Oh, yeah. We're about to make me move up here. Hey! God be good, y'all. I'm just bouncing on what Jesus has done done in my life. I feel good. I feel good. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. The praise team get ready to come for Y'all can keep moving. You keep moving. Let's give God glory for the praise team. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Keep on running. 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 Keep on
Jesus in here, keep on rocking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, somebody getting a breakthrough, somebody going somewhere to help, somebody going on eat, somebody recognize I'm not going to stop here, I'm going to keep on running for the Lord. Yeah, get your breakthrough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Somebody say, get your breakthrough. You gotta get your breakthrough. I would miss this. I would miss this. I would miss this. I would miss this. Come on, tell somebody, don't miss this. The spirit is in the house right now. Somebody say, uh-uh. I'm going to keep on running. Come on, somebody. Tell, somebody tell somebody, uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm going to keep on running. Yeah, yeah. Tell somebody else. Say, say neighbor, I ain't always been where I'm at. And I ain't willing to stay where I'm at now. I'm going to keep on running and see what they is going to be. Ah! Yeah. We already in the text. We already in the text right now. Come on, somebody say, we already in there. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we already in there. God is already in, in showing us what he's talking about. That's why we didn't have to rush because God is already doing it. Come on, somebody tell them, say, he's already showing us. I was looking in the back, amen. You just, you release and do whatever God got you to do this morning. See, this ain't going to be no action way we normally do things. Amen. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. See, I want to talk to some people know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. See, this ain't no ordinary move in the house. Uh, I wanted God to do something. How many say when you ask God to do something, you expect something? Do y'all expect something? So I was praying. I said, Lord, what you have us to go through? And I was in the back and I had some scriptures and, and I seen something. I didn't have no title. So I was back there with the elder and the guys and and I began to say, Lord, I need a title. So I didn't find one. I picked up my pen, sat it back down. And come out here. Somebody say, in obedience. In obedience. And I heard the praise team. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, keep on running. Keep on running. Come on, somebody. Y'all ain't got it. Maybe they'll get in the minute, DNS. Maybe they get in the minute, sis. God said, tell you just to keep on running. Oh, I don't want to hear it. Because I don't know about y'all, but there's been some times in my life I didn't feel like running since I've been saved. Oh, maybe I'm by myself. Let me find some real folks. There's been some things that came in my life that I didn't really, really want to keep running for Christ. Oh, so I got some witnesses. Somebody say amen and thank you, Jesus. But he brought me through 19. I landed in 20. And if I had not learned nothing in 19, if I just keep on running, God is able to bring me through anything. Keep on running. Keep on running. Uh -huh. 
and see you along the race sometime. I look back and you wasn't there. But because you didn't stop, I look back I can see you now. Some people, what you're saying, Bishop, sometimes people may pull off from you. That don't make them no better or you no worse. Sometimes you got to just stay right there. Sometimes just stay where you're at. Then you can get strength to move on a little far. And before you know it, because we in the same race. And if they still running now, they, you right there beside them now because when you had the extra strength to make it and they couldn't have you came up and got beside them. And you said, now listen, I remember when I, when you walked off on me and you didn't understand, God will bring the person back to your life. The strength that you would say, I ain't gonna forget about you. I can't do this without you. I want you to just keep on running. Keep running. Somebody need to feel it. I can't get off of it. Keep on running. If you brought you through that, you brought you through that. You brought you through that. You took you under that. Took you over that. Stretch you on that side. He'll take you on to the next side. You got to go. You got to keep on running. You got to keep on running. You got to run for your life. I can't run for you. You can't run for me. You got to learn to run for your life. Somebody say just keep on running. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah.
people will shout. Isaiah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
as we know that he was the first of four major prophets. Amen. Come on, somebody. He was the first. My God. And seeing some of us is going to be the first to take it back to our houses the right way. Amen, sir. Amen. Not that they've been doing some things, but sometimes God will raise somebody up Amen. and allow you to be the first. Amen. Come on, Bishop. For something to follow you the way he has ordained Amen. to maintain it. Amen. Didn't mean that nobody else wasn't saved. Amen. That Isaiah was raised up in a time to be the first of the four major prophets. Amen. Now, one thing I found out about Isaiah that I want to share with someone, you can sit if you feel you want to, whatever it leads you to do this morning, because this is a, this is a type of spirit we want, God's spirit. Amen. Amen. When people rap. So to some people just I lost their mind over there. But he said, I want to tell you that it ain't just begun today. Amen. See, it may be a new thing you experience. Yes. But ain't nothing new to our Lord. Yes, right. He said, see, uh, Isaiah was a great prophet. Amen. But he learned something through nobody else. Got a hold to him at the time. Yes, sir. That God was a real God. He found out that it matter if God say you his chosen. No matter Israel, he chose you to be close to God. He chose you for his own. He said, but because you have forgotten, God raised me up to tell you something. He was known for his, he can speak prophetically. His, his powerful role he was, he didn't speak 20 years down the road. He was really known for something he would tell you, you need to start looking because it's going to happen. Somebody just said, a right now, prophet. He will speak something, and before you can get two feet, it might hit you. Jesus, thank you, Lord. God will give you glory. When he speaks something, he says, it's going to happen. You need to be looking around. But he also has some insight. Future event prophecy. Amen. Good God Almighty. He was brought up in 700 years before Jesus was even born. Jesus. So then he began to speak to the people. He said, Some stuff gonna jump off real soon. Real soon. Real Thank soon. you, Lord. He said, I want to tell you something. You see, my name is Isaiah, but it means God is salvation. He said, so God told me to come and tell you that he want to bring salvation to you. Thank you, Lord. And I looked up the word salvation, and it began to break down. Maybe some of you know some of the attributes of salvation. Salvation, salvation means that I'm going to take something that's cursed and bless it. Salvation means I'm going to come. Once you get salvation, it means that whatever come your way, any trouble come your way, salvation will bring you to it. Ain't no trouble that you can face. Ain't no difficulties you can face. Ain't no bad marriages or relationships that you got to endure that salvation will come in and bring you out of it. Huh? He said, God said, I've chosen you to be my people. And like some of us, somebody say, ouch. Don't you know God has chosen you? We ain't always act like we were chosen. I want to talk to some realists today. You better put your hand on up there. I'll come down your road and tell you your story. I feel, I feel charged this morning. I feel charged to taste something this morning. But I pray right this morning because he said it's time for my people to know God sent salvation to your house. I also found out that salvation, the one theologian says salvation means to restore what was salvage. What was left from being tore up. I'm speaking about anybody in the house. He said, salvation means I'm a savage. Whatever is left in your life. 
I'm going to sandwich you. Turn your neighbors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, I don't care. Whatever your story was. Whatever. I didn't know my dad. My family didn't treat me right. People didn't do me like I thought they should treat me. I ain't always done the right stuff. I ain't worthy enough. Every time I try to get a break, I can I keep getting falling on my face. I can't seem to get it right. God said, I said, salvation. The heal was been tore up. The straighten out was left and remaining in your life. I said, salvation, your way. To restore you, to make you better than you ever been. He said, but my name means God, salvation. Jesus. Tell your neighbor, say, I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it looks like. I don't even care what you're in right now. Some of you need to say, now. My salvation, I'm going to walk on salvation. Now. My situation is going to change. Yeah, you my chosen people. Uh -huh. 
chosen. Yeah. Go back and read chapter 42. Yeah. Yeah. He said, yeah, you're my, you're my chosen. That's right. He said, but I have to send, I have to raise up Isaiah 43 uh -huh. to tell you I got something for you. Because you might see, once God chose you, you can't undo that. You just got to choose that. Yeah. I don't want to hear you. Yeah. See, see, thank God that I seen you choose salvation. Yeah. See, you, you have a right to come somebody. Jesus. But then once you choose salvation, you can't choose salvation and stay us. You, you can't choose salvation and stay the same. Once you choose salvation, I don't know why I got to keep grabbing you. Once you choose salvation, you got to start Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, let's do it. And when sometimes when you don't know what to do, you get up. Come here. Come here, daughter. You get up to a place. Get up, daughter. See, even though you don't know what to do, you step up. And when you get ready to fall, y'all want to help them? Step in there behind what you're saying. When you choose salvation, God will choose somebody to help you keep your salvation. That's why it's important and imperative that you don't stay where you are. Get to the house of God that somebody can help you walk it out. Yeah, yeah, you see that? Lean back. See what you got. Isaiah told himself, though you don't think it will arise when you chosen and you receive it, he said grace and mercy. Come on. You don't deserve to get it, but it's right there. Oh, because it's not for you to earn. He already gave you grace. But you got to walk it out for yourself. You can tell you, you can get it now, or you can wait 700 years to get it in the natural, or you can receive it right now. That's why right, walk it out. God got somebody for you. You trying to do it by yourself, that's the problem. Somebody stop trying to do it by yourself. You can't do it by yourself. Let me tell you about salvation. Thank you. Come here, daughter. All right. I want you to get your I want you to do this what you do to your side when he's acting up. Get your finger right. And you tell him, you can't fake it to make it. You can't fake it to make it. Jesus. I know you might not want to hear it, but you need to hear this. Because why? Because I know about it. Come on, somebody. When I got real, God will feel you. Now look, you shot and see that. Look over there and see over there. Come on, you ready? Look over there beside you. Somebody say, see, when you choose it and you begin to walk it out, God is so out of you. When you really want God to show out, Man, you better get there. I don't care what the doctor says. You choose salvation. Salvation will go exceedingly above anybody's national level of understanding. He shows out in your life. Operating your life. 
works. You deny it. Jesus. No, I ain't your shit. Disobedience is denying God the yes, 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 yes. But see, other bishop, you don't understand. See, I've been dealing with this. I know God said you don't understand. I've been trying, I've been, do I got to go get reborn? Oh, my God. He said, next time I come, your reward is going to be in my hand. Yes. Oh, what are you saying? He said, you can't get it together then. That's right. Now. Yes. 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 You got to choose now. Yes. My God. Yes. Right now. Right now. Somebody get, 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 get a bite. Somebody get one of y'all get a bite. Somebody say, you got to do now. Now. Why do I need to choose it now? Tell that song. I said, Lord, why you want them to understand they got to choose it now? See, some of them, see when he said you've chosen, and some of us, we don't came in and got the concept of, of chosen. That's right, right, sir. Let me help you out. He said, he didn't know if he knew it right. Come on, there it is. And do it for not. It's imparted to them as sin. Then he goes on, woman of God, and say, and no unforgiving sin can get in. That exceeds once saved, always saved. Somebody say, you got to See, he knew his power in the team. See, when you be when you stay in it, even when you don't know, say something happens around you. So he said salvation will bring you strength in the weakest times that you think of your life. My Lord. He will send a peace in your body. Yes. He goes on to salvation will restore peace in your life. My Lord. Even when your house is in pieces. Yes. Come on, yeah, everybody want to hear this. He can send peace in your house. Yes. It can be chaos soon as you open the door and go into the living room. But you go in there and get in your prayer closet. Yes. You will have peace yes. in there. Yes. And they want to know why you ain't arguing no more. Why you ain't fussing no more. Somebody say, I got peace. I got peace. The past all of the same. Remember ye not the former things. Hold up. My God. Hold up now. Let me ask that God. It said, remember ye not. See, you keep remembering what you're still doing. Jesus, come on here. My Lord. Mm-hmm. See, when you take salvation, I once was comfortable shacking. Come on. Yes, I was. I was once comfortable with it. But now the salvation will come in. Uh-huh. It revelates them. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's not on the devil's head. Yes. yes. I've been doing it for some time, Bishop. Uh-huh. But something because I kept coming. Yes. And working on my salvation. Yes. I kept coming. Yes. What well, used to be okay with me. Yes. I found out I ain't peace no more. I found out I ain't feel good about it no Come more. On. Now I begin to feel nasty. On, now yes. I begin to feel dirty. Yes. Now I begin to feel incomplete. God, this job, I want salvation in my life. Yes. I just don't want it in the yard. I want to bring it all the way in the house. I just don't want it in the living room. In the kitchen. I need salvation in my bedroom too. I need salvation in my life. Jesus. See when salvation comes in, you begin and I have to remember that same mess. Come on now. See, go ahead and read, man of God. Neither consider. What now? Neither consider. Neither consider. Somebody say, <laughs> when things start rising up in your belly. Don't be thinking about how good you think. Sin is pleasurable. Go ahead, bitch. Go, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. What happens when salvation comes in, a lot of times, you know what happens? We begin to consider uh-huh. how it was. Yeah, right. Right. So you understand, bitch? You need to do something to me. Hell going to do something to you, too. That's right. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Somebody say, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's getting hot. Somebody say, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, but see, listen, you don't understand. I'm saying, yeah, but see, if you don't leave here with salvation, you can't have salvation to get in. That's a permit. That's right. 
that allows you to get in. What you say? But y'all, I'm a Christian. Yeah, but if you're saying, if you practice it, yeah. see, it's different overtaking. Yeah. Yeah. Overtaking is we doing something, pushing something, pushing. And I'll be, I be ready to go and fight. He said, you're going to provoke your brother into wrath. Don't do it. Now, God can help deliver me and him both. He right. had no man to push me. I had no man to retaliate. You don't retaliate right now. Okay. That's a great story. What you saying? It was okay. We both done something that he got angry. Uh-huh. And instead of him praying about it, regardless of how bad, who's right or wrong, the peace makers. My God. Peace makers. Right yeah. Peace makers. Yeah. Peace makers. Peace makers. Come on. Then they'll be called a children of God. You better so say that two word. rights don't make a wrong. That's what I'm saying. See, you better make two wrongs. Come on. Come on. Amen. If they yield to God. That's right. Come on, somebody. If we, if we and him both right, we can't make a wrong. Amen. We're doing the right way. Amen. But let us practice the wrong way. We can't get right until we get it God's way. Amen. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yes, so what you're saying, I'm telling you, whoever the spirit I'm in, I'm talking to. Right now, God says, when he comes in your life and he comes in, you begin to grow in God, some things that was comfortable for you. Mm-hmm. I was a great cussle. Mm-hmm. Come on, somebody. Help I it up by myself. Amen. I was a great cussle. I told I confessed to the being yesterday. Can I be honest? I made some words up. I was so bad. I, I got some words that, 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 that I'm telling you. Come on, I got some words right now. The West Department said, boy, we never thought of it. I know you didn't see when you got to get real, real deep and die. I had a gift for my mouth. I was just using it for the wrong way. That's right. There you go. Come on, come on, where you going? Come on. Yeah, yeah. Can you mind if I use your door? Come here. I just you just happen to be here. Come on. You just been sitting right there. God is gonna use you. First of all, I got to tell you, God's going to use you. And let me tell you something. And people who you see holler like you holler and shout like you holler, you already have received salvation. That's right. See, because how I know you're receiving salvation? Because every time I got to do just talk about your dad, amen, the spiritual, you begin to get something goes off of you. And what that means is he, hold your arm, your hand, give me this other hand over here. What that means, though, is for you to let you know today, God say, I heard you holler. I heard you holler. You, and yeah, you hollering because you used to fight. He said, but now you're trusting on me to fight. And why you see her hollering is because she was a champion fighter. And God said, because you was a champion fighter, I want you to fight for me and my army. I want to die you in my army. I want to sleep in you in my army. That's why. That's why you do it the way you do it. That's why you don't like your love. Because you took salvation by force. God's gonna change your name. He's gonna change your name. Not many days hence. He's renovating your home. He's renovating your home. It's starting with the head and coming down. Keep on keeping on. Y'all, y'all don't understand her praise because you don't understand her battles. You don't understand what she's been going through. God say, well, continue to hump yourself, daughter, and I'm going to change your name. Yeah, yeah, stretch forth your hands to her. Say, press on, daughter. Keep on running. No matter, what, no matter what, you keep on running. He's over there and call her husband in existence. Say, keep on running, man of God. Don't worry about where you was. Look where you at. And look to the hills of God. I'm gonna take y'all like force to my better. Ah! Holy Ghost, somebody said Holy Ghost, God. Yeah, some of you have witnessed the change in her life. Yes, Lord. 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 Y
anytime you fight to do right, God going to show out in your house. Why, Thank you, Jesus. We got a young lady. I got to say this. She goes, sometimes we need to hear some things. Say it, Jesus. This young lady will take her money out. Her ties. She comes to me one day. She said, Dad. She called me Dad. She said, Dad. See, she said, I want my house for this. She said, and I want to do right. She said, I'm fighting. People be pushing my buttons. And I told the daughter, hang in there. I said, I want you to pray for those who didn't despite the machine. Oh, and I said, God said, he's going to fight your battles. Jesus. I can say she's a champion fighter. <laughs> See, champion fighters don't win all the battles. But they're always ready to fight. Amen. 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 I ain't know no champion want all the fights. Amen. Come on, somebody. Hey, all champions, we got to their mouth split. Somebody called Mike Tyson. He saw bite knees. Come on, somebody. He said, I can't beat you with my hands. I'll beat you with my teeth. Come on, somebody. He said, I'm going to fight. What you saying about this young lady? She told me, she said, you preached a message, Dad, about drawing the line in your house. She said, I heard you. And she said, I drew the line. I'm saying this as a, not to beat nobody down, but maybe scraping somebody. Yes, yes, yes. She drew a line and it's easy to keep practicing something you've been doing, mm -hmm. expecting a change. Mm -hmm. They say that's a form of insanity. Yes. Yes. So in words, she said, I'm tired of being crazy. Good God Almighty. And I'm ready for God to do what he said he can do. If he can do it for them, he can do it for me. She said, but my mama and my family don't want to hang out with me now because I'm changing. Well, Hoping I'm helping somebody. Amen. <clears throat> the Bible said we will come back with my test. Amen. She said, I, sometimes I feel by myself. I said, daughter, when you get a peace by yourself, when ain't nobody else in the house, you feel your peace. Ain't nobody got to lay beside you and your peace. Daughter used to try to run out the house and I tell her, get back in that room. She go back there crying and everything, cause God says sometimes I need you by yourself. Yes, 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 yes. Then I can be found with you. Yes. Come on, somebody. Then you can hear me, and I can see. Cause if you don't know His voice, you got to learn the voice. Yes, and, and, and you can't do it with a whole bunch of people jabbing at Sometimes He needs to put you over there by yourself. My God. And since she went over there, she went begin to line up in a household. She began to take her kids, and just like in 42, just like in her and us, even though God came in, they began to serve and do other things. And they, and they knew God's way, and they began to go through things. They, oh, I got into witnesses. Hey, come on, somebody, since I've been saved. See, these people were, since they've been saved, I started still going back. Christian folks, yes. saved folks, yes. people that know God good. I begin to deal with some things of the world. My Lord. That Isaiah says, God wants salvation for your life. Amen. He wants salvation for your life. God and you don't need nobody to be beside you to validate you but me inside of you. Y'all better come on. Come on, somebody. Catch us up down there by China Road. Come on, come on. What you saying? I want you to know. The God says salvation come, but you got to draw the line. I want to do more in your life, but you got to draw the line. Jesus. He told, he told the saints, you got to draw the line. God said, I've been, I chose you to be my people. For us to be together and dwell together. And ain't nothing on this side of glory you need that I won't provide for you. You got to go. I'm the only God. You can't have no other God but me. Amen. Jesus. I got to be your father. I got to be your lover first. I got to be your marriage first. He said, so you got to choose. I chose you. Read 42. He said, I chose you. He said, but you got to choose me. So what you say is she chose, and things begin to fall off. Everything don't change instantaneously. Somebody said, hmm, mm. you didn't get in it overnight. 
Come on, I smoke, I didn't smoke crack overnight. Uh, I started smoking two big flies. Come on, somebody. Uh -huh. Maybe I'll need to go down. But can uh -huh. we be real? <laughs> but we already know about this kind of stuff. Everything's a problem. I didn't start just doing it. I started smoking, stealing cigarettes from my mama's ashtray, smoking some little small things. And uh -huh. the next day I was stealing a hole with that old pack. The next day she beat me because she found out. Come on. <laughs> Somebody say, you gotta say this is a process. It's a process. It's a process. It's a process. The first thing change yes. is your desires. Yes. Right. Right. Because I don't want to do different. That's right. And I can't do it without you. That's, right. That's the first thing. Yes. Then he moves in. Yes. And when God moves in, some things begin to move out. That's right. You ain't got to tell nobody to get out of your life. You keep all that in Christ over your life. She's every time she talks, she's talking about Jesus. All you want to do is talk about the church. Is it anything else to talk about? Come on, I talk about what God has done for me. Yeah. If you want me to be quiet, talk about the one that saved me, the one who washed me, the one who takes care of me and my children, I'm sorry I can't do it. for you. But I'm going to keep on talking about what he's doing for me. Well, he don't take all that. Well, he don't take it for you. That's why you keep asking me to give you a ride. That's why you keep asking me to let you borrow some money. That's why you keep on asking. But it took it for me. I tried to rest. How many dipped and dabbled with every, some other stuff? You ain't messing around with nothing. You always been saved by it. Let's, let's, let's go back. How many mess of stuff they ain't had no business at all? Because our stories ain't the same. Come on, somebody tell me about it. But we got a messy story that we can never realize. Yeah, you, was, you think you think nigga that's clean nigga always look like this? I know she was something that little short, walk around, think she about half jazzy in her. I can about a match. I can about a match. Y'all, you know when she get clean, she come in here. I said, boy, I said, nigga that's clean nigga showed up must have been a stallion. But well, she jazzy still today. Come on, somebody. Once you draw a line and allow salvation to come in, things begin to change on you from the inside to fix the outside. I ain't got to fight with you no more to pull your dress and heel down. When, when he get in, you be walking from How many, come on, sister, come with us, be real. How many you put something on there and go back and look at You remember one time you didn't mind something? Come on. You better say amen up in this house. One time you didn't mind what it looked like. There's something going on in the inside that's affecting my outside. I still got this blessing God gave me. I just want to come it up and do it right until God sent me my blessing. And if I already got it, he ain't worried about all that's on the outside. He want to know what's on the inside. And Cause that can change. But then on the inside, you want to win him with this. Cause when everything else getting jacked up and it can, he'll keep. I tell you, show it all the time. She only feel good sometimes. I said, well, you still look good. I said, girl, I'm looking on the inside. Now you still beautiful on the outside. But every now and then, you need to let her assure them. The girl, you look mighty good. She coming out of bed and you know, I said, girl, you look good at home. She said, I don't look good, bitch. I know I don't. She don't look good to y'all. Big daddy, I don't look good. I look over there and say, the brown sugar. Yeah, you still look good to me. Then I get about over there about towards the bathroom, guess what I say? I do, I do, I do. And once again, what you saying? Because she received salvation. And when you receive salvation, at your ugliness, you still look good to God. 
at your worst time, you trying to get it together. You still look good because you choke salvation. So he told my people, I wanted to send a raft. In 42, he said, but I send the prophet to tell you, no, you ain't been doing all you're supposed to do. But I want to tell you, I'm sending it first. My God. And he said, well, mercy is going to withhold but I could have beat you. He said, I'm going to hold that back. And because I see your heart, I'm going to say grace. And see, grace super exceeds your failures. Super exceeds that when you want to do right and you trip and do wrong. Grace Hey, ain't nobody want to hear that. Huh? Grace, will, grace will cover you when you're living in a situation, but you really want to come out and just don't quite know how yet. Somebody better say amen. amen. You can be living in a situation that is unhealthy, ungodly, but because salvation uncome in you, God said, I send grace to help you to get built up that you can come out of that situation. Mercy is already been released. That means everything that you done for you got to me. It's not Come on, I don't know why I messed with you today. Come on, come on. Show you something. Come here. Come here. Let me show you something. Get on this get on side. Get on my side. I'm going to show you something. Turn your back. Stay right there. Somebody say Mercy. mercy. When you receive grace, <laughs> mercy will bag up on your back. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, somebody. Anybody hear me? Yes, yes, yes. And say, and grace will say, yes, sir. Don't worry about what other words for you. walk. He said, don't worry about Jesus. your past. Jesus. Don't worry about how you feel. Yes. Don't worry about what you went through to get to where you at. Because yes. you allow me to come in your life. Don't worry about what haters are going to say. Don't worry about who's going to walk out of your life. Don't worry about what your situation is. God say, I got your back. I cleaned it up. I fixed it. I know you don't know how to get on it. That's why you got to get to a place that you can get salvation built up in your life. You walk it out. How I get out of this situation? How I get this? I'm trying to do right. Even when wrong is all in my way. I don't know how to get out of this situation. He said, walk it out. You don't change nobody else. You let me change you. You went your way to where you got to go. You come up to the house of God. You press in and get what you got to have. You don't let nothing stop you. You just do it and let me show the world. You walk it out. I can't walk it for you. You got to walk it out for yourself. You asking me to do it? You want me to do it? Put yourself in a place that somebody can strengthen you. Put yourself in where people gonna help build you up and stop walking around that. I don't know how to do it with your low self-esteem. I rebuke that spirit right now. You are somebody. You do got potential. You are great. You got to walk it out. You don't need no man to tell you how you value. Nobody can't tell you your value when they don't know their own value. You looking for a blessing in the midst of a curse. Look to God for your change. He's the author and finisher of your faith. Salvation is to your home today. I want to go on and finish and I'm stopping right there. Read, read 19, man of God. Because God got something he's going to do. Read 19. Behold. Behold. Look, somebody say, check this out. Check this out. Read, man of God. I will do a new thing. Come on, somebody. 
Somebody say, God wants to do a new thing in your life. He ain't, he said, look what he said. He said, you ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. He said, I'm going to do it. Read it. Now it shall spring forth. Yes, it will. Hold up. Stephen can be standing up and ready for something to spring forth. Look around and say, Behold. Behold. God's going to show out your life. And before he show out, you got to walk salvation out. Come on, say, Now, 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 you hear me now. 99 and a half ain't going to be. Come on, somebody, tell somebody, no, 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 no. Come on, tell somebody, don't tell somebody. Somebody got to hear you. Tell somebody, say, no, 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 no. Tell him right there, tell him right there. Say, y'all tell each other. Say, no, 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 no. Get that young man up, tell him, 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 tell him. Get up, get up, get up, tell him. Everybody got here, say, no, 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 no. Just look at him. Tell him, young man, no, 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 no. Y'all get him right, turn him around, turn him around. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. You can't fake this in me. You want to play church? You want to be the biggest fool in the game. See, when you fake it, you're playing. Parker Brothers got a thing called Monopoly. That's right. Come on, somebody. And you will you going not pass go and get $200. No, not this game. Come on, somebody. You're not going to skip three places. There's a place called down there where they call it the jail. Yeah. Hell is classified the jail. And if you keep on playing and you ain't hitting the right number, eight for your new beginning. You already went through grace. You don't want to a new beginning. Come on, somebody. Now, so now you're going to walk into a new beginning. Your number of completion is safe. That's now. Now God said, I'm going to do a what? A new thing. A new thing. Now, those that really sincere about serving God this year, I dare you to start shifting. What you say? Tell you this is something to happen. See? Tell your neighbor, say, you ain't seen nothing yet. Come here, Pastor. What's going on? Come, come here, daughter. Get behind your pastor. Y'all shit together. Y'all shit. What you saying? Because she never did stop running. Her daughter couldn't stop. When daughter got weak, she looked at her. Look at her. She passed the steel move. She, someday she didn't move fast. But she never stopped moving. So when, when daughter was weak, she said, I don't know how to do it. I'm going to take vitamins. I'm going to do it. And she said, well, if I just start doing what mama doing, amen, it'll strengthen me too. And then because it starts strengthening mama, go ahead and start moving out, mama. Come on, somebody. Come here, Tam. Come on. Come on up here, daughter. Come on up here. I want to show you this, what happens. See, you got to be fruitful and multiply. You got to be fruitful and multiply. And see, and sometimes you don't even know who's watching. They can be all the way gone. Grab a hold to them. Now, and it make no difference where she got in at. She was most important than just from here to there. Now they all in there. Now guess what? Somebody say, guess what? We team it up. Come on, give me some. Grab somebody and say, we team it up. Move on out, Pastor. Move it on out, Pastor. We all moving. Go ahead, Pastor. We need you to go. Yes, sir. We all going. Somebody say, I don't know what you're doing.